Hello and welcome to Cure Audio and I. <clears throat> Today we're going to take a look at the Pioneer MVH 8200. The Pioneer MVH 8200 is the first in the lineup from Pioneer in their new 2010 range to feature a Macless CD unit. Taking influence from Japan with the growing trend of digital multimedia formatting. Connecting to about anything on the market at the moment, the Pioneer MVH unit, you will not miss the CD unit. By removing the CD mac mechanism on the Pioneer MVH 8200, Pioneer have been able to add on a 3 inch full colour LCD screen that clearly displays album art, video, playlists and much more. The system has SD card, USB, auxiliary input and can also play the iPods or iPhone via an additional CD IU50 V cable. The stereo has a 4x50 MOSFET chip for the amplifier with 8 brand graphic equalizer with 7 band preset. Now you've seen we've connected the CD IU50 cable here on the USB and the auxiliary input. To scroll through the features we hit the home button. Now you'll see it takes up the source so we'll go down to list. Now we're into our playlists. And now we've gone in and pushed the knob in and we scroll through the feature. We'll also now take a quick refresh through and see how to use the system on the iPod again. You'll hit the home button. Now you'll see on the screen you have source, list, audio, system and entertainment. Rotate the rotary commander into list. You'll see video, playlists, artists, albums, songs and podcasts. We want to go into albums. Again, it takes up all the albums. Rotate the rotary commander. Push. And now we're in. Now also we're going to take a look at how to insert the SD card. You hit the eject button on the bottom left for the detachable panel. You pop the detachable panel off. Here you'll see the SD card slot. Now I've got an SD card. I'll just simply insert the SD card. And replace the panel. Now to get the USB, you'll see that the iPod system is picking up first. We hit in the SD, read the format. Now it's playing it. Again, flick through the next song. And that's the SD card, part of the unit working. Now we're going to take a look at the rear of the Pioneer MVH 8200. Situated in the bottom left hand corner you have the antenna input. Moving across to the right we have the front RCA's, rear RCA and sub RCA connection. Here we have the ISO loom adapter. In the bottom right you have a 3.5 jack adapter which will enable you to add on the features of the steering controls on a factory fitted system via an additional cable which also can be purchased off the Car Audio NI website. Thanks and I hope to see you take a look at some of our other videos of the Pioneer products and many other items that we sell.